Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video we are going to discuss silicon control rectifier parameters. So in my previous video I have discussed about what is mean by silicon control rectifier that is SCR, construction of SCR and characteristics of SCR and uh, the application of SCRs are also listed and one application which is most important that is crowbar circuit which is used to used to uh, get a protection against over voltage is discussed with a circuit diagram in my last video so if you have not seen the video guys please see the video uh, in my playlist and uh, if you are new to the channel guys please subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon so that you uh, don't miss any update from the channel so now coming to our today's topic um, that is SCR parameters so basically what comes to in our mind when we talk about parameters is the quantities which measure the performance of a SCR. So, uh, suppose if a human being is considered, then the parameters for the human being will be height, weight and other quantities. So, those are the parameters which we will be measuring. So, if we, uh, when uh, the same situation is applied for the SCR, there we are having the uh, continuous four parameters that are the first one is forward break over voltage that is denoted as VBO. So it is the voltage above which the SCR uh, centers the conduction region that is on state and the forward breakdown voltage is dependent on the gate bias. So forward break over voltage is the voltage at which the uh, transistor that is SCR will uh, start conducting. So up to some voltage because we know that the uh, structure of SCR is something like this. So there are four parts totally PN, PN and a voltage will be connected to this one and this is the anode, this is cathode and this is the gate terminal. So this is emitter and this is collector you can say. So initially it will be not conducting up to some voltage so if you see the characteristics these are something like this so up to some voltage it will not conduct that is the point at which the SCR starts conducting is the point uh, that point will be called as so this is a hold current and this is the latch current so this these are the characteristics right so the voltage at which the SCR uh, starts conducting that voltage we will be calling as forward break over voltage so holding current so it is the it is that value of current below which the SCR switches from the conduction state on state to the forward blocking state so the holding current here we will be having the holding current right so the holding current is the current uh, value uh, so below which HR, uh, SCR switches from the conduction state to conduction state to the forward blocking state so if the uh, holding current value that is the SCR uh, current value comes down to the holding current value then the SCR will go from on state to off state because so that means holding current is the minimum current which is required for the SCR so then uh, the same concept applies to the latch current so latching current IL uh, so it is given as this is the maxi minimum current flowing from anode to cathode when SCR goes from off to on state so and remains in the on state even after gate bias is removed it is greater than but very close to holding current so the transistor characteristics are like this so for different gate voltages it will be coming to this one and here we are having uh, so uh, IL is greater than but so here we are having latch current and here we are having holding current so holding current is the minimum current which is required to keep the SCR in the on state and latch current is the minimum current flowing from anode to cathode when SCR goes from off to on state so this is the minimum current which will be flowing through the SCR when the SCR goes from off to on state means when it is turned on so this is the minimum current which will be flowing through the SCR so holding current uh, latch current is slightly greater than the holding current but they are approximately equal because there is only a small difference between them so reverse breakdown voltage so what is mean by now reverse breakdown voltage uh, it is the reverse voltage anode is made negative and cathode is made positive in this case 
above which the reverse breakdown occurs breakdown j1 breaking j1 and j3 uh, j3 junction so there will be three junctions right uh, j1 j2 and j3 j1 j3 will be reverse biased and in reverse characteristics this is the reverse voltage that is this voltage which will be applied to uh, uh, conduct make the scr conduct in the reverse characteristics so that um, this voltage will be called as reverse breakdown voltage so now coming to some of the applications of scr so the first one is uh, it can be used in controlled circuits and rectifiers so the first application is controlled circuits and rectifiers so rectifiers are the one which will convert ac to dc ac to dc so where in dc we are having only the positive component and ac we are having both positive as well as negative components now the second point is ac voltage stabilizer so voltage stabilizers means they will reduce the fluctuation so as uh, the characteristics are uh, something that will be saturating here so for above voltages so this is the voltage point v so the voltage is greater than v also the current will be same that is il current so that can be used as stabilizers here so this due to the this property the scrs can be used as stabilizers dc to dc converters called choppers so these are these can be used as dc to dc converters also and those are called as choppers dc to ac converters called as inverters so as we know in our homes we are using uh, inverters where the dc stored value will be converted to ac and then given to our home circuitry so ac to dc conversion is rectifiers and the inverse of that is dc to ac conversion which is called as inverters dimmer uh, dimmer starts to control light intensity so dimmer starts means then there will be uh, so suppose the light intensity which will be uh, measured in lux right so uh, these are used to uh, construct the dimmer state so the dimmer states are used to control the light intensity so uh, that's the application uh, which is very important nowadays because a uh, lot of work is going on the light here uh, light due to the invention of li-fi technology right so there we can use the uh, scr to control the intensity of light so sixth point is for speed control schemes of dc and ac motors called drives so this can the scr can also be used in the speed control devices for dc as well as ac motors and as a switch so of course it can be used as a switch because it is having a breakdown and a reverse characteristics means it will be on for some time and when the voltage will come this side then it will be off so this is the off state and this is the on state so this will define a line between them where it will be off for some period and on for some period so basically switch the switches also does the same thing they will be on for some time and off for some time so the devices which are having some break over voltage all those devices can be used as switches so these are the digital switches with known mechanical parts so it can uh, easily used as a switch here so heater control circuit etc so it can also be used in heater control circuit so means up to some voltage or some uh, heat or some temperature we will be allowing the scr to turn on so when it reaches the threshold value then we will turn off the scr so that the heating circuit will disconnect from the power supply and um, suppose this is the heating circuit so this is the heater then we will be connecting a scr to this so which will uh, give power supply so the power supply unit will be here so the power supply will be uh, so this is the scr here and this is the power supply so even the scr goes down the power supply to the heater circuit will disconnect so up to some temperature we will be allowing scr to on and otherwise when the temperature exceeds suppose 40 degree celsius then we will disconnect the power supply and heater circuit with the help of scr so that the temperature will be within 40 degree celsius so like this we can use the scr to as a heater control device also so these are the sum of applications which we will be seeing commonly for the scr so if you like the video guys please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates Thank you. Thanks for your support. Jain.